Green screen got you frustrated? No worries. I got you. <laughs>Yo, yo, yo, what's up, Tough Gamers? We're gonna jump right into it. Go ahead and pull out your video file. Drop it straight into Premiere Pro. Just like that. All right, drag it onto the scene. Here we go. I'm gonna delete all this audio because we don't really need that for the purposes of this video. Go straight into your effects panel right there. I want you to type in Lumetri Color. Once you find that, drag it onto your video footage. There we go. You'll know, notice on the right side of my screen, I have Lumetri Color Panel. If you don't have that, you can get it in the window. Just check it off. Anyways, here we go. What we're focusing on today is HSL Secondary. The H is Hue, the S is Saturation, and the L is Luminance. First, you're gonna pick your first dropper. And this is gonna select our hue, our color. That's what your hue is, all right? Green. So we don't really wanna mess with the hue after that. We just kinda of wanna focus on the saturation and the luminance. Nice. You're gonna click, click color gray. When you check that box, it's gonna show you everything that you didn't select as your hue. We gotta key out the rest because we got a crappy green screen. So looking all around, we need to get all this stuff. You're gonna select the second dropper with the plus. You're gonna start selecting more, adding to your HSL. You'll notice every time you drop something, the S and the L changes. Adjusting the saturation can make the color more vivid or more mute. Your luminance, the L, kind of focuses on the darkness or the brightness. And you'll notice I have an unevenly lit green screen. So I will tell you lighting is some of the most important things to get a good green screen. Um, I got six lights on this thing, man. I just can't win. So this is what I have to do. I go around and I keep adding with the second dropper tool and keep keying out more and more green. I'll scroll through the entire footage, make sure there's no little gray spots, and you'll see right here where my two lights hit that there's a little bit of gray because it makes the green brighter than the rest of the screen. And of course, I'm lazy, so I didn't iron my green screen, so you can see all the wrinkles, but who's got time for that? All right, moving on. We got the screen keyed out. Now, we're gonna uncheck our color, our gray color, and we're gonna go down to color correction. Obviously, we want this screen to be green, so that's what we're gonna pick. Then you're gonna click on your triple wheel right there under color correction, and this is gonna bring up your shadows, midtones, and highlights. We're gonna crank that up to the top, boop, just like that. Then we'll crank that up to the top, boop, just like that. This one we're gonna drag all the way to the bottom because we don't care about that one. Next, your temperature needs to go all the way to the right. Your tint needs to go all the way to the left. We want it sharp, we want it saturated. Now that you did all your color correction, you can refine it. Just add a little bit of denoise, a little bit of blur. This is the lines on everything else in your, your picture, like your character, your chair, whatever. I, you don't want to do that before because it makes it fuzzy and it gives this little green line and super irritating Go to your effects panel next Type in ultra you're gonna drag ultra key over to the timeline To your video footage. You're gonna click on this key color eyedropper under ultra key There it is all right click on the eyedropper and key it out. Boom, congratulations. You just successfully keyed out the crappiest green screen I've ever seen. I didn't want this video to be five minutes long, but it is, so I made a 60 second short of it if you prefer that as well. Otherwise, please like, 
comment, and subscribe. Your feedback is very, very important to me. For the love of gaming, game on.